Hi everybody, Mr. Kalala here. I want to give you a quick recap on how to do percent change and percent error questions. Let's just run through it quickly. Here we go. So the first thing you need to do is just remember that we're basically just using this same percent equation. All we're going to be doing is we're going to be replacing the words part and whole with other words just to help us with the context of the problem. But it's really the same equation. You'll see what that looks like as we run through a few examples. Here we go. So first, for percent change, we're just going to go ahead and replace the word part with the word change, and we're going to replace the word whole with the word original. Again, same, pro same, same equation, just new words to help us with uh, kind of assigning what numbers go where in the equation. And let's take that into an actual problem. So we have an actual problem here. It talks about Joey. Joey had a collection of 40 baseball cards. After receiving new cards on his birthday, he now has 48 cards in his collection. What is the percent change in Joey's collection? So uh, I'm just going to fill some stuff in. I, I would hope it was pretty obvious from reading the question that his original amount of cards was 40. Now, um, I was never given a percent, so I'll put a P for percent. And I need to represent the change. Now, very frequent mistake is people put a 48 here. That is actually wrong. We don't want to put that there. I know it says 48 in the problem, but whenever we see change, we always want to represent the amount of the change. So if his collection went from 40 to 48, it changed by 8. So you always need to kind of do a quick uh, finding the difference of the numbers there to get the amount of the change, not what it changed to. Once we have that, we go ahead and solve that. You should know how to get guys to do that. So we'll just divide both sides by 40. Cancels those 40s out. It's going to leave me P on the right and 8 divided by 40 on the left. 8 divided by 40 is 0.2 or 0.20 if you want to think about it that way. Go ahead and move that decimal over two spots and my answer is 20%. Now this is a 20% increase because his uh, number of cards went up. Uh, if he had given away 8 cards or sold 8 cards or lost 8 cards, it would have gone down 8. That would have been a 20% decrease. We can have both increases and decreases when it comes to percent change. Um, let's talk about a percent error. So for percent error, again, we're just going to take the word part and we'll replace it. This time we'll replace it with the word error. Take the word whole, replace it with the word actual. Again, same equation, just looking to help with the context of the problem. And let's put that into practice. So we have Susan here. Susan estimated that the distance from one side of her backyard to the other was about 90 feet. After measuring, she found out that it was only 80 feet. What was Susan's percent error? Uh, again, we're going to fill stuff in, have one variable, and then solve it. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to say, hey, the actual distance from one side of her yard to the other was 80 feet. We know that from the problem. Uh, we don't know a percent, so I'll put a P for percent. And again, we want the amount of the error, not what the number that she gave was. So she guessed 90. That was her estimate. That's not what we're putting there. What we're actually going to put there is 10 because she was off by 10 feet with her estimate. 90 minus 80 gives us a difference of 10. Once we're all set up, go ahead and solve it. So divide both sides by 80. It's going to cancel those 80s out. Leave me the P on the right. 10 divided by 80 is 0 0.125. Then we'll just go ahead and move that decimal over two spots. My answer is 12.5%. So she had a 12.5% error. Uh, I want to give you a quick example where we don't find the percent. Sometimes you're given a percent, like this example here. Here's a percent change question. It talks about Bobby. Bobby's training for a mile race. When he first started training, he could run a mile in 12 minutes. If he now can do it 25% faster, then how much faster can he run the mile now? I'm going to quickly fill some stuff in. He originally could run it in 12 minutes. We have a 25% change. I'm going to put that in as 0.25 because remember... Uh, we always want to put our percents as decimals. Uh, and I just put a variable in my change spot. So I'm finding the change. Now notice, already isolated. This variable is already by itself. So all I have to do is solve this. So all I have to do is 0.25 times 12, which is 4. So he can now run it 4 minutes faster. It doesn't mean he can run it in 4 minutes. It means he can run it 4 minutes faster, which means he can actually run it in 8 minutes now instead of 12. So... Uh, that's percent change and percent error. I hope this little recap helps, and uh, good luck this week.